Lena reaching the end line. Good slide in, and that'll get the crowd excited here in Oakland. Makigila threaded that through brilliantly, and now Colorado Springs has the opener. It's Zach Zandy. Just, just, just look at this. This is a simply threaded pass. <sighs> Got to be better at your marking. It's more out there. Zach Zandy will take it. Oh, it's in from Mahoney. Muse came for it. He didn't get there. And the switchbacks have a lifeline with three minutes of injury time left. Backs are back in it. Things just got interesting. The service from Zandi, perfect. The service has really let them down so far, and that was perfect right there as Mahoney gets to that near post space. Muse does come. Again turned over. It's Barry sliding this in. Galita! Off the post and in an impossible angle, but Mishi Galina opens the scoring for Colorado Springs. He always provides those magical finishes. It's dictating the game on their own terms. They push you and pull you in a million different ways and then spring into action. Tucked up down into the corner. Ball comes back to the goalkeeper. Terrible decision compared to where he should have played this. Should have gone long and away from the middle. Instead, right down through the spine, easy to collect. But how about this finish? How does he get this thing into the back of the net? He's been that man tonight. He hasn't been called on a ton, but he's made a couple of big stops to keep the clean sheet to this point. Now here comes Mines, with Barry to his right. Barry back to Mines, who puts it in. And surely that locks up three points on the road for Colorado Springs. Bits on as we get close to stoppage time. Archie Berry with a nutmeg pass right. Perfect place for Ben Mines. Mo. Sandy. Galena. Galena from a tight angle roofs it, and Colorado Springs have the opening goal. And acrobatics to boot for Mishi Galena. It's the switchbacks in front. Might have even deflected off the post. That's how tight it was. Mishi Galena. They have those two midfielders and the two wide midfielders spread out. So the three versus two in the middle of the park is where Orange County have to take advantage. Well, that was a good exchange. Here's Johnson. Johnson with the finish, and it finds its way in. He had two tries, but third time's a charm. Malik Johnson gets that one past Rakowski. It's a two-goal lead for Colorado Springs. Talk about weaponry. Look at the simple one-two blowing past Orange shirts. And then look about the cool finish pass, Rakowski. Talk about how wildly different that is from his first two shots. And that's even again was in roughly the same area in the penalty box, but this time cool, composed. I'm not sure what magic words were told. By the way, we got 25 goals in 32 games last season. Yeah, yeah, watch out for that guy. You may not know him. Yeah. This one finds Galena. He heads it up. Galena inside the 18, plays it on goal, and Colorado Springs. Fires the first goal in this one, and some acrobatics from Galena. The first goal for the home side this season, and an excellent finish from Michi Galena. First goal, the ball is split right between the fullback and the center back. Henry was beaten on the pass, but look at the finish. You thought you pushed him out wide enough, but an inch perfect finish, just clipping the inside of the post. To make it five. Goals at home, and another penalty, Carlson's denied. He went right down the middle, and he is stopped by Caldwell. On 16 tries for Caldwell. It's that little stutter step. 
Ball floated back the other way. Hatter, what a save! And somehow Jennings can't sweep it home. A gaping net, Caldwell, an incredible save. That's why you go out and get him, right? To make saves like this, to deny Lara Caldwell quick enough, down like a cat. Big bear claw just comes a bit too fast for Jennings, unable to get his feet underneath him. You can Oakland had the mid-year coaching change, of course. Longuera out, Noah Delgado in, but not much has changed. Early chance here, wow! Oh. Inside of 30 seconds, Elvis Amo. No better way to start than that. Wow, I'm gonna clock that at, at 23 seconds. Long ball. The crease is not necessarily there from Fuenmayor, but a great read from Elvis running forward. And an early strike prevents Pablo and Chet being in the right place at the right time, although that's an impossible shot to stop as well.